My name's Nick Ridley. I'm a professional dog photographer, author and journalist. And this is the latest episode in Training with Ted. In this episode, we're gonna look at teaching Ted to take a line. Now, a line is where the dog is sent out to an area of a fall, perhaps a bird has fallen down or a rabbit has been shot, but it's actually moved on from that particular area. And the dog has got to learn to get there, put its nose down and follow the track. And it's something really you should try and teach your dog before you go out to the shooting field, because it's in all our interests and it's very important that we get out to these retrieves as quick as possible. I'm gonna pop Ted away because I don't want him to see where I'm laying the, uh, the quarry lines. And then uh, we'll get him out and see how he gets on. When I first start out teaching these dogs to take a line, um, I quite like to use a, a fur dummy. Obviously as things progress and if you've got any available, you can use cold game, uh, obviously depending on time of the year and whether you've got that to hand. The first stage of this is to actually make it quite simple. So I tend to do a straightforward, straight line drag. Find your area and rub your dummy to create a strong area of scent. And when we're ready, we just drag our dummy behind us. I'm starting off in some long grass, and then I'm gonna come out onto some fairly short grass. I picked a point up ahead where I'm gonna drag the, the dummy to. So at this stage, it's a fairly straightforward, straight line. I've actually picked a little piece of ragwort here just to give me my line. So I'll go over it, drag my dummy back in, and once again, I'm gonna create an area like that. Now, I want Ted to be able to find this, but I don't want him to be able to see it. So I'm just gonna hide it over with a bit of grass. So I've just got Ted out of the car now, um, and I'm gonna line him up to send him out to that fall area, just on the edge of that rough grass there. Because I've got a spaniel and not a Labrador, I like to just set my spaniels off in front of me away, because obviously if they flush something, they're not gonna be flushing it right next to you. If you've got a Labrador, you could line him up and send him directly from the side of you. So now I've got a little bit of distance from him. I'm gonna send him into that rough area. Hopefully he'll find the fall that we rubbed and then take the line. It's very windy, so um, it's not gonna be an easy job for him. Go back. Now he's into the fall area. He's just trying to work that line out. That's where I rubbed the dummy in. There we go, he's following that track really nicely. Heading straight up that nice narrow ground. What a lovely line. There you go, straight to the dummy. That was nice. So you could see there were well, the way he worked that fall area, followed the line straight out, straight up the track. Um, that's a lovely retrieve. Okay, so we've set that first easy line, uh, a straightforward straight line on short grass. So now the next stage is to obviously make things a little bit more complicated. And here I'm actually gonna try and simulate um, perhaps a rabbit being shot. So I've got a nice clump of grass here, and then it goes a little bit smooth and then we've got some rough stuff over there. So my scenario that I've got in my head is rabbit bolts get shot from here, but runs up through into that valley. So we repeat the same thing again, get our lead, put our lead down our dummy. People uh, ask me whether I put scent or anything on the dummy. No, I don't. Um, Ted's nose and dog's noses are, are fantastic. They can pick up the slightest change in scent that's around them. Uh, what I do do sometimes is during the game season, I'll put some of my dummies in my game bag with perhaps some pheasants or something just to pick up a little bit of extra scent on that. Um, but ordinarily, I just use a straightforward dummy. So again, simulate my fall area. This grass is nice and wet now. Uh, this is absolutely perfect conditions. A good landing area. The other thing you could do actually is uh, if you're in a position where you can use a starting pistol, you could fire your starting pistol on top of the dummy and that gives you a shot area as well, some shot scent. 
uh, we're not in a position here where we can use a starting pistol. So, done our fall area, we've come straight across from short grass, and this is quite spongy in here. I'm gonna to start to make things a little bit more difficult as well. I'm gonna put a slight curve in. I'm gonna come up into this rough stuff up in here. So obviously on this occasion, Ted's gonna to have to take his straight line and then work out the angle. Again, I don't want him to see the dummy, so I'm just gonna tuck it away there in the grass and come out the back side of it. So that's obviously going to be a little bit more testing for him. Uh, I'll go back to the car and get him out and see how he gets on on this one. So this is our kind of second scenario. Um, and while I've been just walking back with Ted, I've just been thinking about how I might make this slightly more difficult. So what I'm actually going to do, this rough area we've got here, I'm going to cast him out and just hunt him in there a little bit. And that's where my rabbit is going to flush. My rough grass where I put the fall, where I rub the, the, the dummy into the fall area, that's going to be where I should send him to. And hopefully he'll take the line out into that uh, rough area and up into those thistles to find the retrieve. So I'm actually now simulating what might happen on a, on a shoot day. So just to start with, I'm going to cast him off into this rough area. Get out. There, there. So I'm just going to get him to hunt that rough area. That's lovely, he should start to take that line in a minute. Now he's off, he's gone through the gap, he's now up into that rough area. Now I can't see him, so I've just got to rely now, he's gonna take that big curve up into that, those thistles to find the dummy. This is where you've actually got to learn to trust your dog. Just let them get out there. Lovely, here he comes now, that's a nice retrieve. Nicely done, mister. Good boy, good boy, well done. Okay. Not a straightforward retrieve. Obviously more complicated than the first one we did, but that's building up his confidence. He's now beginning to learn that if I say to him, there's something there, he'll get his nose down, find that line, and work it all the way up till he gets to his, re his retrieve. Good boy, well done, good lad. So for this final exercise, uh, I want to make it even more complicated. We've come to a little uh, gully, I suppose you'd call it really. We've got a lot of rough area here, then it goes down into a gully, and just in the distance there, I've got a willow tree, which is going to be my marker for my, for my dummy, where I'll put the dummy finally. So again, scenario is exactly the same. Uh, this rabbit skin now is very, very wet, so it's going to be laying down some good scent now. Long line, because it means I can just drag the dummy a little bit further away from my foot scent. So we're just going to come onto this edge in the bank. It's very windy now, so uh, it's going to be a bit of a job for him to pick this up. Obviously, the any scent is going to be being blown away from where the dummy is. So we'll come through this bit of rough stuff. A few thistles here as well. and make him work that a little bit harder. Obviously, a gundle's got to work in all sorts of conditions and cover. So here's my willow tree here. And what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to stop short of the willow. And I'm actually just going to throw that dummy down into that little dip. So he'll find the end of the scent line, but then he's got to work on then to find the dummy. And I'm going to send him down the line of this bank, across that drag line. And hopefully he'll take a right hand side, but he's got to work out which way it's gone to start with. Go back. So he's down the gully, he's into that rough area. There's the fall line. He's just casting off to the left at the moment. He needs to get more right-handed. Still working that out nicely. Got a lovely line there now. Just at the bottom of that gully. I've lost sight of him now. This is where you've got to just trust your dog. You can just see him there. He's working up through those thistles. Just coming back off of it slightly. That's a nice retrieve. Just a little bit of encouragement back. Good boy, go on in. Good lad, that was nice. Good boy. 
There we are. That gives me the confidence that whatever scenario I'm in with the dog, I know I can send him out for a retrieve. He'll work out on the line and it will get that retrieve for me. Good boy, well done, excellent, good lad.